that's actually pretty tasty. I would not hesitate to eat this. At all. Wow. No, that's not bad at all. Welcome to the Willie Bill Outdoor Show. It's good, isn't it? Oh. Hey y'all, this is Willie Bill. Uh, got a review for you today, and we are looking at this glass jug of half fish. That honestly does not look particularly appetizing. Uh, what do we got? Belvedere. Premium sprouts and oil. There's some letters on here that I don't understand, and that's because I bought this in a European grocery store. Uh, or is like European uh, gourmet, or I can't re quite recall. Uh, it's a store here in Colorado. It's actually in a town called Arvada. Uh, European market, I think that's how it's labeled. Um, I went in because I did not realize that it was like, it's like Eastern European. It's not like uh, like Belgium, Germany, uh, 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 Austria, that kind of place. It's like, like Russia, maybe, yeah, I'm going to say Ukraine because the first one comes to mind, but like more of those like type of countries because uh, those kind of alphabet, that letters that show up on the things and the stuff I was looking for was like Dutch stuff and they didn't have any of it. They had tons of this, tons of fish in jars and uh, I figured, hey, I might as well give that a try and see what's up. So fish in a jar sprouts in oil seems like a reasonable concept uh, fish in oil um, sorry the dogs are moving around over here let's see can I read the ingredient ingredients smoked sprouts grapeseed oil and salt contains fish best by the date on the packaging uh, looks like okay so it's packaged 11 21 it's good to 11 25 so they're expecting this to be good for four years so if you're looking for something to put on a shelf some kind of protein something that's going to have a different flavor and shelf stable for four years that's pretty good this could be a good ticket We'll call it like survival kind of food, right? Beginning of when COVID started happening, I know there was concerns that grocery stores was all going empty. People's freaking out. Sorry, I got an itch here. People's freaking out. Stuff's disappearing. It would be nice to have some extra at home. Now, I know there's all those like dried foods that you can have. Uh, those don't always taste the best. You got to rehydrate and things like that keeping something around that's still in its original form you know it's a fish it's in oil it's going to be oil of the fish uh could be something nice to break up the monotony of having this like rehydrated food stuff if if you're in one of those situations also there's plenty of people who just enjoy this so my father i remember used to eat sprouts he'd have some crackers and he would just eat this kind of stuff as it was no problem so we'll give it a shot um, what I'm looking at is kind of weird it's definitely fish that got their heads cut off and I can't imagine you're gonna try and like eat around the bones so hopefully they're pretty soft and uh, we'll find out here in a second let's pop this guy open whoa okay pops open a little bit more dramatic than I expected. Smells fine. Smells like fish and oil. Uh, if you like tuna fish, things like that. What is that called? Kippers? I think that's one. Uh, let's see if I can get one of these guys out of here. Oh yeah. Okay. So there's what we got. There's a fish in oil. Dripping that grapeseed oil. And down the hatch. Mm. 
Yeah. That's not bad at all. That's actually pretty tasty. I would not hesitate to eat this. At all. Wow. No, that's not bad at all. And no bones. I'm not hitting the texture of any kind of bone, anything like that. I don't know if they're in there or not. But, uh, yeah, those are good. Okay. Sprouts and oil. We'll give that one a, an A+. Plus. If you want to put that on a shelf, that's going to last you four years. It'll give you a source of protein. Looks like 200 calories. Uh, serving size, two ounces. I don't know how much of this you'd have to eat for two ounces. How much... Uh, so I know how many's in a bottle. Bottles eight, eight point eight ounces. So two ounces, a little less than quarter of a bottle. So maybe it's like a half dozen of these fish. You get two hundred calories out of it. That's a pretty good deal. So backpack that kind of thing, probably not so great. You're gonna carry around a glass bottle, but in the basement. Add something to back you up in case you end up in a situation where you can't get the food. Uh, yeah, man. These are good. And I wouldn't hesitate to eat them just because. I could see having a nice beverage, have some like crackers or something, and eating these up. So, check it out. If you happen to be in European market, you see sprouts and all. Don't be afraid of them. They're pretty good good we're talking good again the, excuse me come on now can we say our words or what sprouts and all pretty darn good smack them buttons like subscribe we're gonna see you next week take care y'all yeah i like that it's even got like little tail fins oh well